This is Bonnie Vent. What you're about to experience is perhaps the largest field experiment known to date. This trans-channeled session is with a high-level group that refers to themselves as The Connection. They are attempting to build a bridge of communication with serious researchers as well as those seeking answers to the age-old question of what happens after we die. Filmed live and streamed over the internet, this experiment was interactive. Participants were able to ask questions in real time via text chat. It was facilitated by John Strife, located in Virginia, while I'm in California, so no queuing was possible. The participants were not chosen in advance. They simply heard about the broadcast taking place and decided to ask a question. We now join the connection already in channel. We are trying to establish a bridge from the third dimension into the fourth and fifth. This bridge is designed for your comfort and is connected with love. We hope to establish communication with you via video. We also want to once again reach out to the research community because the work that you are doing will attract a certain element of the population that we perhaps cannot. We work more on the level of feeling and what resonates with the individual person. Whereas the researcher has the ability to explain to the rational mind why these things might be occurring. A person who dwells in the rational would not necessarily accept the process that you are observing currently. And we understand this, we understand the skepticism. Uh, it is intriguing to us that you are developing and working on machines trying to do what is a natural process and that more credibility is put into the machine than is put into the human element. This is somewhat saddening to us, but we do understand and we will assist in any questions that serious researchers might have as well as individuals and we are happy to provide this service to you. We hope to minimize fear, anxiety, because you are indeed going through a tremendous shift and regardless of what aspect you want to look at on the diamond that is what you know as life, you will find this all around you. Even in your broadcast media of today, you will start to be getting an inkling of what lies ahead. We do suggest that you look more at your science channels than you do your broadcast news. Your broadcast news is deceiving to you. They are trying to provide a picture that fits into the rational mind. If you scratch very slightly below the surface, you will realize that you're not necessarily been given the truth that currently exists. So we suggest that you use your powers of discernment and that you feel into the information that you're being provided. Listen to your gut, as they say because this will be the way of working in the future. The rational mind works in what you consider to be your reality. And you should know, and especially the researcher should know, that the area around you that you call reality can fool you. And it does fool you on an ongoing basis. So, since we are currently working today with John, we would like to first ask him if he has any particular questions that he would like to pose. 
Thank you very much. Um, I'm sure that some people are wondering who is actually speaking. So let me start with that question. I have another one after that. But can you tell us a little bit more about who you are, what you are? Uh, put it in terms, if you can, that have meaning to us in our physical world. Name seems to be very important in the dimension that you currently reside in. It is actually a part of your imprint. So it is very natural that you would be looking to name us and to categorize us in some fashion. The name that you can refer to us as, if you so desire, would be the connection because that truly is our purpose. Therefore, we're using that as our name. We provide connection points. And it's interesting in that the particular channel that we have chosen has an innate ability in connecting of dots. And truly, that is what we do as well. We connect dots for you. We establish connection points that have always existed, but you have not been aware. You could not see and observe them. So we are trying to put a light on these connection points and walk you through the process of connecting these points to each other to get you truly where you need to go which is the opening of the next room, the next doorway that you walk through. Thank you very much. Uh, that, does, that does help uh, immensely. Um, let me follow that vein just a little bit. Um, I hear the term we being used uh, quite a bit here, implying a group of some sort. You say we, we are our, and so on. So to, to me, it implies a group. Would I be correct in saying that you are, in fact, a, uh, a representative of a group, or am I hearing a group speaking at one time? Is that accurate, or is it... Is there another way of, of, of my, again, my limited way of being able to conceptualize who and what you are? You are hearing a group consciousness directed through one channel. And we want to bring this up to you personally, John, because we understand that you have some knowledge on audio recording. And you know that this is entirely possible to channel multiple audio input into one particular channel. And this is indeed what we are doing. And it comes through in a blended fashion. And so you are not speaking to one individual. You are speaking to a collective. For you, it is easier to hear the one voice because truly, if you were to hear all voices speaking simultaneously, you would not be able to comprehend the information. And so we are doing this intentionally to make this easier for you in the third dimension. I see. Uh, this brings up another interesting question uh, regarding uh, how you communicate in your dimension. Um, is it what, what type of communication do you engage in in order to, uh, I assume the concept of exchange of ideas is a very real thing for you. Uh, how does that work in, in your, in your, on your side? The closest thing that you have to the type of communication that we engage in would be what you refer to as telepathy except that we are able to receive multiple thoughts at multiple times and process them in a way that you do not currently have the capability to do. That's very interesting, I think. So you can process multiple thoughts at once. So it sounds like it's a, uh, it's a, it's a, it is in fact a group, and that implies to me that there are individuals in the group. Would I be correct in saying that? There are individuals in this group. As a matter of fact, the group is growing and becoming quite large. This is indeed a research project in the dimension that we are in. We have now invited you to join in with this 
as part of the bridging of the gap between the two dimensions and to bring you more into the realms that we currently experience. And so we have our own scientists and psychologists and uh, a myriad of experts, uh, including some regular individuals that just have interesting, relatable stories. And so in the research community, this would be considered, I guess, anecdotal evidence. And so it's not so different that we bring together all skill sets. It's maybe a little different for you in that it's all coming through one particular source. So you really are getting a maximum amount of information delivered to you in a way that you are able to digest. 